Hi there, this is Marco from Botshop back with another project video. I'm one of our technicians here and today I'll be showing you this DIY battery that you can build at home that you can use to power any of your small appliances, especially Wi-Fi routers for those times during load shedding. So let's get straight into it. So this is one of our new products that we just got in recently. This is the LifePo 4 Supercell batteries. Um, what is quite nice about these is they have 6,000 life cycles, meaning they can last up to 20 years if you look after them nicely. And they can run a router for around, let's say, six to seven hours, depending on what type of router you have. So what have I used here? I've used four LifePo 4 Supercell batteries coupled in series, meaning that you get a 12 volt output from these cells. Each of them are charged full at around 6.5 volts. So you get around 13.6 volts output on the other side. Now, what do you do if your router is running at 12 volts, but you're getting 13 volts up? So that's why I have included this little buck boost module. We also sell and I've added a voltmeter to make it easier to show you guys what's going on here. So our buck boost module can take the input voltage of any source, DC source, in a certain range and output exactly what you need. So if you have a 5 volt source, it can put out 15 volts or it can put out 2.5 volts depending on what application you're using it for. So um, what I've got here is our 63-in-1 screwdriver driver set, which is quite nice for these little appliances and screws. So you're going to be turning this trim port to adjust the output voltage on this module. So let me add this. Okay. So the output voltage on this battery currently is around 13.3 volts because it's not fully charged. So as you can see here, I have it currently set to 4.2 volts, but let's say for instance, we have a 12 volt router, how are you gonna be adjusting it? So you just turn this little pod over here, and as you turn it, so you're gonna see the voltage increase, and let's say we want a constant 12 volt output. Over here at seven volts now. So almost there, at nine volts. Quite sensitive on the adjustments. Let's turn it down a little bit. Okay, here we go. Exactly 12 volts. Now, what this board does is if you charge your battery and discharge it, your voltage is going to change to this board. But it doesn't matter because it will always output a constant 12 volts or whatever you adjust it to. And if you're wondering what this little blackboard is, this is our 4-cell LiPo 4 balancer. So if you connect batteries in series, you have to balance them out with a board. Otherwise, the voltages are going to change and that is not good if you're looking at an optimal solution. So you're going to need to include one of these uh, balancing boards. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this product project video and uh, all the documentation and products that I've used are linked in the description down below. So be sure to like and subscribe and see you next time.